going on guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to be talking about season 19 of battlegrounds so we're going to talk about the best attackers and defenders for the victory track and gladiator circuit week one so this is going to be pretty much a cosmic meta so it says that our cosmic attackers line attacks have a 50 percent chance to apply an armor rate to the defender which reduces their armor by 20 percent and if the line attack was critical the chance is 100 percent instead so here's a big factor if this armor break cannot stack, that means cosmic attackers will not be too OP. But if it can, which I would assume it can, that means some of those cosmics, especially the ones that crit a lot, they are going to be really strong. But we're going to have to see. And then also the defender gains a permanent armor buff, which increases their attack or their armor by 10% whenever you block one of their attacks. And then also 40% more potency on the armor ups. And then the only thing that changes in the gladiator circuit is there's going to be explosive personality, which means when they get five armor ups, they will basically deal 25% damage of your health. So keep in mind, those have to be armor ups generated by explosive personality, which means, you know, if there's like an Omega Sentinel or something that generates armor ups, she's not going to deal damage to you if she has five armor ups, except if those are the explosive personality ones. So in week one, you definitely don't want to block too much. But the best attackers for this meta are obviously going to be Cosmic and then Mystic. I think Adam Warlock will be amazing. And keep in mind here, I'm, I'm going to mention those attackers thinking that the armor break is going to stack. But uh, yeah, this guy is going to be really strong. You know, he gets that massive precision after 20 hits and you start with 10 if you hit the opponent's block twice, which means you're going to have 24,000 critical rating after 20 hits for like 10, which means you're going to stack a ton of armor breaks. So I feel like this guy will be amazing. Angela does crit quite a bit as well. She has armor breaks too, because in this matter, you will need some someone that armor breaks or nullifies because they're also going to get like some more potency on their armor ups, which means they're going to be tanky. So ideally you want to have someone that will armor break. Now, Corvus. I feel like Corvus, especially if you have a seven star man, he will be really strong as you can uh, tell he crits a ton and armor break is just going to give him the damage that he needs to kill with one special too. CGR obviously going to be amazing. I think Galen will be both good attacker and defender actually because the opponent gets armor up buffs. He's just going to just go go crazy for the for this victory track 100%. He's just going to go into harvest super super fast. Uh, I think, you know, obviously Hercules can do really well with his precisions uh, with the SP1. Hulkling doesn't crit too much, but you know, Hulkling is a beast. And even if you get like one armor break, it's just going to be even faster. Hyperion, yes, he can be really good too. He's got your armor break on his special too as well. Uh, not the best crit rate, but he's okay. Um, Null could be also pretty good. He's also a 7 star. He has a really high chance to crit. 31% chance as you can see. And then Ronan can definitely cheese. If you block like five or six hits, the opponent is going to get six of those like indefinite armor ups, which means he's just going to cheese his way through the fight. And then lastly, Venom. I think Venom will be really strong, especially if you start with some precision buffs. And then he crits a ton. He plays bleeds. And yeah, it's just going to be really good for Venom for sure. You know, most cosmics are going to work in this meta, but I just mentioned like the ones that I think are going to be the best. Now for the Mystics, you ideally want someone that is going to nullify or someone that benefits from the opponent having buffs like America Chavez. You know, the more buffs, the more attack she has, more damage. I think Diablo would be really, really fun. Potentially Claire too. Claire might be still too slow, but you're just going to get to those pushes a lot faster. Same thing with Diablo. If you pop the pre-fight, the nullify pre-fight, and you have Mystic Dispersion, it's going to be amazing. Same thing with Dr. Doom. He's got Stagger, nullify, potentially Dr. Voodoo. Maybe we see some Dr. Voodoo's. Uh, juggernaut is gonna be amazing for sure he's got the stagger if you got him dupe he's just gonna nullify the armor ups kushala will be amazing as well the opponent having buffs you can either go special two or special one doesn't matter long shot is gonna be the biggest cheese in this season especially a 6200 one she's gonna get to that special two so fast and then you just parry heavy parry heavy the opponent gets uh, a lot of those armor ups and they're just gonna go down really fast uh, there's also Mordor, like I would say maybe a 7 star Mordor would be fine with his special 2 soul bar, but I don't know if he's going to be too great, but I feel like I should mention him. Uh, Sigil will be amazing, you're just going to parry, steal those armor ups, and uh, get to those specials a lot faster. And then some other two champions that I want to mention, 
uh, are Wiccan. You know, if you place that neutralize, you can just block a ton. And the opponent is just going to take a bunch of damage from those uh, fails from the neutralize. Fail, failing the armor ups. And then I feel like Tigra, you know, she can just manage. She, she's not going to benefit from the node, but she can just manage the armor ups uh, if you get the neutralize. Actually, she does benefit. What am I saying? She does benefit from the node because if she plays the neutralize and you block, they are going to get inflicted with ruptures. So I feel like those are going to be the best attackers. I mean, you can obviously use like someone from like the science class, like spot someone that's really strong, like Joe Fix It or Titania. But those are the ones that are going to benefit from the node. Now, there are going to be some good defenders as well this season. And I think one of the best ones is going to be Thing because he's m both immune to armor break and nullify, which means if he gets armor ups, those are going to be 40% potent because of the node. And then, you know, you can't armor break him or nullify him. It's just always going to be there. He's just going to be tanking for the whole fight. Um, and also, if you like, let's say you're in week one and there's a close personality, you can't, you can't uh, hit the block uh, five times. Because for things, sometimes you want to hit the block so that you can like time the rock stack. So I feel like Thing would be definitely a really tricky defender. Uh, there's also some, some nullify champions like Overseer right here. Definitely can be a bit annoying. If you want to like use a mystic champion or you know want to benefit from mystic dispersion for any reason other north flight champions are also mr negative i don't know if he's going to be like too popular but probably not going to be too great uh also you want to avoid champions that are buff immune don't put titania or ant-man or cassie you know because they, they're not going to get armor ups it's basically going to be like a super super easy fight now from the mutant glass i want to mention like one champion here this is going to be colossus he is immune to armor break uh, outside tech champion so if you don't have tech champions or armor break he might be a problem because he also has his own armor ups and then being 40 percent more potent you know he can be super super tech you're not gonna lie and then moving to the tech class we have nimrod nimrod you know he is not immune to nullify or armor break but he basically can't lose his armor ups from armor breaks which means he's still going to be a little bit tankier as a defender so i feel like i should mention him now omega sentinel is going to be a tough defender she has her own armor ups she can definitely trick you with the explosive personality she's also a seven star now and she is immune to nullify you can own the armor breaker the good thing is that if you use a cosmic champion she's gonna get nuked really fast even if she's a seven star because she doesn't have too much hp and then lastly, this guy, man, he's going to be one of the best defenders, I feel like. He is immune to nullify. You can armor break him, fortunately. But man, he's got so many armor ups and them being 40% more potent. And him having a lot more crit resistance is not going to be like... like You can't even kill him if you, have, if you don't have a cosmic that you know armor breaks, I feel like. Especially if he's a 7 star, he's got the challenger rating as well. And Iron Man here, the same thing as Red Skull. The more armor ups, the more crit resistance. And I, f I believe you can't even nullify his armor ups, which is really, really strong as well. Uh, I believe it says it right here. Yeah, so he's increasing his crit resistance and it cannot be nullified or staggered, which is really, really good stuff. And then I'm going to move to the Cosmic class. I don't think the Cosmic class can be too crazy, apart from Galen, which you know he's just he's just gonna be really annoying he's immune to fate seal nullify and then if you block he's just gonna get armor ups which is gonna feed him more planetary mass if he gets 100 you're just going to take some damage so keep that in mind and then mystic class this guy he is immune to armor break you don't really want to like block against him either because if he's got like the black uru he's just gonna deal a lot of block damage to you he's gonna get armor ups and you can't even armor break him you only can um nullify him then doom same thing he is immune to armor break super tanky with crit resistance you definitely don't want to give him armor ups as well i think man thing is immune to armor break as well uh yes he is immune to armor break or armor shatter effects which you know make him automatically a good defender he can also like nullify stuff get to md uh pretty good defender for sure i, I actually want to like ascend my man thing but i i am not too sure and then my favorite, we're going to end the video with my favorite, and this is Destroyer. Destroyer is immune to armor break indeed. So I feel like he can be an annoying defender, especially because you kind of want to block against him. Because you either want to bait heavies or parry him because he's got the unstoppable, 
which means he's going to get armor ups and if you don't have someone to nullify them he's immediately going to be tankier because he is immune to armor break so yeah man i am pretty excited for this season i will try to push a little bit harder for this one uh, especially if i like week three but i might make a video specifically for week three best def defenders and attackers we will see but yeah guys hopefully this video helped you and if it did just give it a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one